Hey guys, what's up? I'm Josh from MLB Baseball Blogs here with Mickey uh, Story from um, the Oakland Athletics. He is a reserve pitcher. Um, Mickey, what's going on, man? Nothing. How you doing? I'm doing good, man. Thanks for having coming on my show real quick and answering Thank some you. questions. All right. So a lot of my friends were asking me, where do you clock at in the bullpen? Um, I've been anywhere from 91, 94 as of late. I usually tend to pitch. Uh, 90, 92, but I kept, I've been getting up to 94 lately. That's pretty impressive. I really, I mean, that's really, that's really, really great. I, I just, that's phenomenal right there. Um, how do you think the A's will do this season the, with all these new additions, Hideki Matsui, Josh Willingham, anybody like that? Um, they should do good. I mean, they made a lot of moves in the all season. They definitely bolstered the bullpen with uh, good arm breaks. Well, yeah, um, I really like Fuentes. Um, I hope the A's will do a good season. Um, really, I'm a huge fan of Fuentes and guys like that. Matsui, you name. I really, I just really enjoy that. Um, yeah. Where do you see yourself in the big leagues? Like, how, how long? How many? How many years from now? Um, I'm hoping this year. I mean, every year with my leaguers go into the season, hoping to break through. You know, that year. So, I mean, I'm hoping for as soon as possible. But realistically, you know, timetable is. is so why? Because injuries, and you never know what guys are gonna have, what kind of years. You can only, you know, to, to yeah. Well, and have the hot hand when when a move needs to be made. So, I mean, it could be anywhere from 2000, 2011 to 2013. You know, just, just hopefully as soon as possible. Yeah, I really hope to see you up in the majors. Maybe by, maybe by the season's end, or maybe in the beginning of the season. I'll, I'll be really interested to see how well you pitch in person. Yeah, that'd be great. <laughs> I'll, I'll give you a good show if I get there. Oh, no, thank. Um, are you consider what position would you go out for if you uh, pitching wise? Would you want to be a closer or would you want to be a starting pitcher? You are considered as a hot reliever pitcher. Um, where, would you want to be a closer or would you like to be in the starting rotation? Um, for me, it doesn't matter. I mean, I, I've been a starter my whole life. Um, as of late with the A's, I've been a, a you know a set up closer type guy. Both roles I completely enjoy, and it, it's a tough call because if you're a starter, you know, you get that, you get to throw a ball in the game, and, and, but, but as a reliever, you you might get to throw, you know, three, four games in a row and be a real contributing factor on a nightly, on a daily basis. So it's both great. Um, either which one is good for me. Just being in a big league is a, is a joy in its own. Yeah. Uh, my friend Tim, um, he wanted me to ask you this question. Um, who has taken you under under your under their wing this season? Like what player, major league player, any player? Um, I mean nobody in particular. You know, everyone kind of I don't want to say everyone does their own thing, but everyone kind of does their own thing. There's some there's some uh, a good group of, of veterans around, but some new guys we signed: Vinny Cholk, um, uh, uh, Willie Ayers, some guys like that have been you know older guys who've had big league time and. And are currently in minors, so they've been, you know, guys I've spoken to. Yeah, I heard of some of them, not all of them. Um, I'm just really, in I can't wait till you make the major. I'll be like, I remember him. He, we did an interview. Um, yeah, exactly. Yeah. Uh, what type of pitchers pitches do you throw? Uh, right now I'm a fastball, curveball, changeup guy, with a cutter in the works. Which one is your dominating pitch? Um. My breaking ball has been notoriously my best pitch throughout my career, but I got to give props to my changeup. It's really developed. And last year, I I actually um, cut back on the breaking balls and threw more changeups and threw it for a really good percentage of strikes. So changeups getting pretty good, but breaking ball has been you know historically my best pitch. That sounds phenomenal, man. And our last and final question. Um, is there any advice that you would like to uh, say to uh, future college pitchers and minor league pitchers? Um, yeah, absolutely. Uh, stay healthy. Do the extra things in the training room to keep your arm healthy because once you get in a pro ball, it's not just who's the best, it's who's the healthiest and the best. So, you know, do the little things that are gonna, the trainers and coaches say is going to help you, you know, stay on the field. That's it's got to be the most important. Well, thank you, Mickey, for your time, man. We really much appreciate it. Appreciate it. Thank you. Have a, have a great career. I hope to talk to you guys soon. I'll talk to you soon. Okay. Thank you. Thank you so much, sir.
Well, there you go, guys. That was Mickey Story. He is a minor league pitcher for the Oakland Athletics coming out of FAU. Um, pretty dominant pitcher. So I'll just hope if he can make the majors this year. Um, he really wants to make it this year. He sounds really professional. So, guys, give um, i like to say thank you to Mickey. Mickey, if you're watching this, I'll post this on your uh, Twitter account so you can just check out the interview. Guys, thank you so much for tuning in. Um, me and Richard have a couple of videos to come up to next, so we'll talk to you guys soon. Enjoy your weekend. It's baseball, and just have some fun.